All right, guys, so this one is a special one. This is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. And basically, this is like a video camera motion detection doorbell. High technical stuff. As you guys can see, specifications on the bottom. So 1080p HD video, advanced motion detection, lifetime purchase protection. It works on iOS, Android, and Windows. And it's also Wi-Fi compatible. So open up the app and just see who's at the doorbell and you can have a conversation with them. And keep in mind, they're not going to see you. They're just going to hear the voices. So it's kind of like privacy reasons too if you really want to think about it. All right, specifications here. Two-way audio, encryption, night vision, pro features. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing that we went over. And I forgot about this flap. There's a little flap here. Say hello to Ring, the most advanced doorbell. And by the way, you can customize these little uh, face plates. If you live in like a rough neighborhood, people breaking into cars or someone is, I don't know, I don't know, if, you, if your house got broken into before, you can see exactly what's going on. Could be a good thing and could be an annoying thing too because let's say for example a gardener or or someone who cuts your grass you know you're gonna get a notification on your phone by the way so i gotta definitely test out the notification system it could be a good thing but it could be an annoyance too at the same time okay so this is the books and everything always home oh always home you guys already know so we have a bunch of books here okay face plates and levels and stuff like that this thing is compatible with the Amazon Echo, but keep in mind, you will need either the Echo Show or the Echo, what's the small one? What's the small one? I forgot the small one. The Spot. There we go. It's the Spot. So you're going to need something that has a screen, obviously, so you can see what's going on in front of your house. And, or you also have compatible with the Fire Stick. Nice enough to include the face plates, so it's not like other companies where it requires you to buy the face plates if you want to change them. Okay, nice little brown one. Okay. Nice little cream one, I guess you can say. And you also have some tools, which is very, very nice of them. And it's interchangeable. So that's cool. You have even more tools. Okay, I'm going to show you guys all of that soon. And then you have the actual doorbell. So this is like a real button, right? And this is the camera. So this is a wide angle lens camera and you're going to see everything. Wide angle lens is the most beautiful thing ever. The back of it, here you go. Installation hardware. So this is just all the guts of the doorbell for the most part. Just the guts and glory of it. The tools, the nuts and the bolts. So yeah, so this is basically a smart doorbell. Very, very handy. You don't have to bother getting up. Stopping what you're doing, you could just launch the app, see who's there, and have a conversation with them. Sometimes you could just end the end the um what you call it and just don't do nothing. You could just see who it is, end it, and that's it. You guys already know, man. I'm definitely gonna simply pops this video. This is a special doorbell it chimes. So every time you ring the doorbell, these things chime. So we came from this doorbell to a smart high-tech doorbell. Security over everything. So let's download this app. Uh, let's go into the app store. So you just download the app. Okay, always home. <laughs> this video was recorded in June, right? So June is now September. And I didn't want to hold this video any longer. Uh, so the Wi-Fi, you got to have really good Wi-Fi for this doorbell. Um, you know, because it's, it's live streaming, you know, the video into your phone. So you're going to need really good Wi-Fi connections. So I was having a little bit of Wi-Fi issues. 
Um, we have two routers in this house, so we have one router upstairs, one router downstairs. Um, the upstairs router was kind of weak, then there's times where the downstairs router is kind of weak. So, you know, I had a little bit of Wi-Fi issues, and not only that, me taking a screwdriver, switching it around every time, back and forth, taking it out, putting it back in, the screw, it lost the groove. It is what it is. I did set it up on a device, so I, you know, every time when someone rings the doorbell, you get the notification on your phone. That definitely works. Um, I also set up the motion, and you can set the, the sensitivity. Um, so basically, like, you know, if a cat is walking, you know, on your grass, it might not come up on your phone. But if a person is walking on your grass, then it'll come up. So you can set the sensitivity. You can set, you know, high sensitivity so any debris goes or anything, you're going to see it on your device. Um, that's definitely good. It, you know, it gives you options. So I really do love the app a lot. And if someone rings the doorbell, you're going to get the notification on your phone. It varies on your Wi-Fi, and also it comes up on your Apple Watch. So that's definitely a nice touch, too. Uh, but you got to have good Wi-Fi. And sometimes the doorbell rings, and sometimes it doesn't. You'll hear the chime on the doorbell, because, you know, the doorbell has a uh, speaker. But on the doorbell inside here, you're not going to hear it. And... The only way you can see it is through your phone. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it might be our doorbell in this house, but hey, you never know. Um, so, yeah, a bunch of troubles with this doorbell, but your your doorbell setup may be different, though. If you live in a rough neighborhood, you might want to consider or you might want to invest in this doorbell because it's a lot of crazy things that goes on at night. And this thing has night vision, too, so you can easily see what's going on at night, too. So, yeah, so if it's a lot of suspicious activities going on, you might want to invest in this uh, doorbell. So, guys, I would say this doorbell is not right for everybody. Um, it's just it's it's good for select people. Um, but overall, guys, the Ring doorbell, very very intelligent doorbell, very very easy to set up to. You just gotta have a good amount of internet connection. You gotta have strong internet, um, and also just try not to unscrew it, screw it back in because there's a chance that you may strip the screw. So just be careful with that. But overall, guys. It's a pretty cool doorbell. It's just not for, I don't think it's for this house. I don't think it's for this house, to be honest. But um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one was a short one. I killed this video, though. I killed this video. I didn't want to hold this video any longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys think. Until next time, later. And fun little fact, this video is so old that I didn't even have this camera. I was, you know, I shot this video pretty much on my Canon G7X over there. But I think this video came out pretty nice. And it was my first time using LUTs, uh, the mask tool. I killed this video and I just didn't want to, you know what I mean? I didn't want this video to go a waste, you know what I mean? I wanted you guys to see this video.